All right, so in our last video, we did a conquest tutorial for beginners. And remember when I said that you guys need to check the goals, there might be specific goals that you guys need to follow in order to beat the conquest because you need to complete every single goal in order to get progress. So if you want those 15 stars for the all-star program, you have to complete every single goal. And these goals are basically churn limited. So we must, and I say we must, capture the Houston Astros stronghold in two turns or less to receive a show pack. That's our first goal. Our second goal, we need to capture the Texas Rangers in four turns or less. Our third goal, we need to capture the Padres. And the Padres has no time limit, so we're good there. Fourth goal, capture the Orioles. Fifth goal, capture the Reds, Nationals. And then finally, we are done, pretty much. So the first two goals are the most important. You cannot skip turns because you want to make sure you capture these strongholds before the second turn is over. So for the Houston Astros, we know is right over here. So what we're going to do is we're going to go straight after the Houston Astros right away. We could wait till the second turn or we could attack them straight away. And honestly, this might be a little bit harder for some people because you will have to play on all-star. However, we can try to get a little bit easier. However, I don't think we're going to because we don't have enough fans, but you can skip to steal fans, skip to reinforce and try to get a couple more fans in there. But I don't think it's going to give you veteran anyways. It's not. So honestly, just play this one game on all-star. You should be good. By the time you get to Texas, hopefully you could play on veteran difficulty. But this one is going to be on all-star. But like that's why I said always check the goals. Make sure you guys are checking goals when you guys are doing conquest maps. It is very, very important. So we got to play this first one on all-star difficulty. I'll see you guys after the game. One other thing from my other beginner's tip, I'll show it in this video too. Always pick your number five starter. That means if, if you pick your number five starter, they have to pick their number five starter. So it's your worst pitcher versus their worst pitcher. That's how you get the worst pitcher. And it's a live series team. So it's going to be the lowest overall player on their starting rotation. In this case, it is 66 overall, Jake Bloss. All right, so we beat the first stronghold. We beat the first goal. We're beating the Houston Astros. Now what we're going to do is we're going to try to get as close as we can to our next goal. If, if you guys don't remember, it is going to be the Texas Rangers. So we're going to get as close as we can to the Texas Rangers on this turn because we have to beat the Texas Rangers on or before turn number four. So we are going to be on turn number three in just a second. And we are going to reinforce. We now only have five fans. Go ahead, skip to attack. We can either attack with five. It'll be on all-star or try to reinforce, get some more fans. Probably won't matter too much here, but we will do it. We'll go ahead and reinforce one more time just to see. It's going to be nine versus nine. It's still going to be on all-star. So these first two games you most likely will have to play on all-star difficulty uh, for this conquest map in general. So we're going to go ahead, beat this conquest map or conquest uh, stronghold in the Texas Rangers, and I will see you guys after the game. All right, we beat the Texas Rangers. So now every turn-related goal is done. We don't have to worry about the turns no more. So that means if we have to like reinforce like seven times to play on a lower difficulty, we can do that. The hard part of this conquest map is over. Now it's going to be very, very simple. However, we got to make sure that we don't lose our strongholds. So we're going to attack the one that has two fans first and then go around and attack the rest of the territories around us. That way, there's no one very close to our stronghold. We want to protect our stronghold as much as we can every single time. So make sure there's no one there. And most most, most conquest maps, you won't even have to worry about that. But this one. And then we lost right there. But like I said, it don't matter when you lose. 
because we're going to go reinforce. And this time, I think we might reinforce over here just real quick so we can protect our stronghold right here as well. So we're going to go ahead and attack and attack these strongholds next to our Houston Astro one. And then we'll, and then we'll reinforce again and start filling in the rest of the map. Kind of like before. So we got a hidden reward millionaire pack. There is our first hidden reward in this conquest map. I don't know if there's going to be any more, but there we go. So now what do we do? We fill in the empty spots. So we have a lot right here. Um, what I would do on this one is I would probably put one, two, three, four, five right here. And then part, start putting some right here too. We can put the rest right here. And then we're going to go ahead, attack. We're going to attack up and get a lot of these empty territories within the conquest map four three two and one there we go another hidden reward another pack and now we will reinforce yet again this time i'm going to reinforce right here why you ask well i'm just going to make sure they can expand so we're going to reinforce right there and attack over take that one over and then start the empty spots again so go down down we can even attack the reds right here as well. Try to get that one. Go down, up, over, and then up. Now we, So now we just, we're looking pretty good. We have a stronghold down here, and then we have another territory right here. Let's go right here, and then go around. I think another. Hey, goal completed. We got our next goal completed. Capturing territories, hidden rewards, some stubs. We'll take that. And then we'll go ahead and keep on going over. Now we got that one. Um, we'll go up, down, over. Simulate that as well. And instead of going up, we'll just go down and start attacking these guys. Just for the heck of it. Get rid of the rest of these. Don't matter if we lose. That's okay. So now when we reinforce, we'll put two right here. We'll put one right here to get those empty spots. And then we'll put the rest up here and start going towards the other teams. And then now we're basically going to be attacking the Orioles next, it looks like. So we'll skip to attack, attack this territory. And then we'll go up here, two, one, and we're done. And then we go over here and we start making our way towards the Baltimore Orioles. And once we do, I'll show you guys that we do not have to play these on any hard difficulty at all. Because now when we reinforce, we're going to have a lot more fans because we have a lot more territories. If we played them right now, it'll be on Hall of Fame. We don't want to do that. We'll skip to steal fans. We'll skip to reinforce. We'll reinforce our territory. And I'll, I'm actually even gonna, going to attack around it a little bit. I want to make sure like there's nothing around us. So we're going to attack up top first. And then we're going, and then they're going to try to attack us. We're going to attack again. And I'm going to get rid of like a lot of the fans around them. They're going to attack us again. So now they only have one fan in there. And then we're going to attack. Attack. Now we have 12 fans. It's on all star, but once again, we don't got to play on all star. We're going to go ahead and reinforce, but I'm going to reinforce up here so we can go down towards them. And then, like I said, move fans. You can't move these ones, though, because they're not attached to the rest of it. So we can leave those there for now. Skip this attack phase. We'll attack right here. And now we should have enough. We should have enough. It will be on veteran difficulty. But before we attack the stronghold, we can go down and attack these guys. Just for the heck of it. I'm going to try to get some of these fans down and already conquered so they don't bother us later on we can just start getting them out of the way right now and that's exactly what we're going to do and then we'll worry about the baltimore orioles once we're done with this this one don't matter attack them let's see if we get that five versus three or four versus three we got it how about two versus two these ones i never i hardly ever win yeah two versus two is kind of tough so we'll go back up here we'll attack the orioles it's on veteran difficulty, and I'll see you guys after the game. All right, we finished the Baltimore Orioles. This, this, this conquest map is actually fairly simple. There's only five teams versus 10 teams. And once again, second conquest map in a row. 
You guys get free content. We get another wheel spin. Let's see who we can get. Five, four, three, two, one. Stop. Come on. Gold or diamond? Gold or diamond? We got we got brunt. Uh, we got silver. Whatever. It is what it is. I'll open up those five packs after the conquest is over with. We'll open up all the packs, so don't worry about that. Let's go ahead and get the rest of these territories over here. And then we're moving on to the Cincinnati Reds. We got three more games. Okay, there's six games, not five games. Six games that we got to beat. My bad. All right, go ahead, reinforce. And this time we're going to go ahead and reinforce right here. And I'll show you guys why in just a second. Um, there we go. Move these fans down here. You guys see those eight fans in the bottom right? I'm sure you guys do. We're going to go ahead and attack down to those eight fans first, just because I don't want to deal with them. They might even try to attack us. They did. They took a lot of fans. That's okay. But I just don't want to deal with them later. I'd rather deal with them now, and then we'll go back to them, and then we'll go back up. See? That's why we take care of them first, because I don't want to go do the back and forth later. Let's just do it now get it over with we got 18 fans going into the cincinnati reds is it enough it is we play on veteran difficulty let's go ahead and tackle the cincinnati Reds stronghold and i'll see you guys after the game all right so we beat the cincinnati reds in this conquest right here and i believe we have two more we got another goal complete if you check our goals we're pretty much on set we just gotta do the padres uh and the nationals and we'll be good Padres and Nationals is, are left. Let's go ahead and get the rest of these territories and make our way to our next stronghold, which is going to be the Padres. Another hidden reward right next to the Padres. Another millionaire pack for us. Let's go ahead and reinforce. We'll reinforce down here. And of course, like always, we're going to be attacking the most fans first before we do the stronghold just to get them out of the way so we don't have to deal with them later because they're going to attack us. We're going to attack them. And that way we can just focus on the actual stronghold. So now we're going to have to reinforce one more time because we do not have enough fans to get that on a lower difficulty. So let's reinforce once again. Switch to attack. And now we can attack the Padres. It'll be on veteran difficulty. But before we do that, we'll just get the one, the two fans right next to it. So we don't have to worry about that either. And of course, they're going to re-attack. So we're going to re-attack them. Take that over. And now we should be good. And we're going to go ahead and play this on veteran difficulty. And I'll see you guys after the game. All right. So we beat the San Diego Padres. And now we'll be going in to our final. We also got Braden Montgomery. He's part of the all-star program. So we completed some missions over there. Total base with the draft series players. Strikeouts with draft series. Stuff like that. We're working on that right now as well. And we got another goal completed, so six out of eight, because we got that stronghold right there. And now we're going to be working our way over to the next one, which is going to be our last one, the Washington Nationals. So let's go ahead and get over to the Washington Nationals so we can beat this conquest and basically pretty much solidify us finishing the All-Star program. All right, we got reinforced. We ran out of fans. We lost. Go ahead and re-attack, and we're going to go ahead and attack these guys, and they'll attack us back, and then we'll attack them, and then we'll be good to go. Yep, they attack us. We attack them, and it's a GG's. All right, skip the steel fans one more time. And we're going to have to go and reinforce over here now because those are attached, so we'll reinforce right here. And then we should be good to go. We'll skip to attack, and I'm just going to attack whatever is up above us from right here anyways so we don't have to worry about it later so we're going to attack these two territories and see if we can get them if not we'll get them when we uh attack after we attack the stronghold so we'll take that right there and we're good now we'll go back down to our 31 fans and make our way to the stronghold should only have like one territory left as well we have any territories on the map that we haven't gotten? Yeah, there's one up there to the top right that we have not gotten yet. So we'll have to do that after the game. But we're going to play the Washington Nationals. I will see you guys after the game. 
All right, so we finished the last stronghold. Now we just have one more territory that we have to conquer. So we got to reinforce over here because there's one more territory that we need to get. So let's go ahead and get that territory right now. And the conquest map is over. And we got the all-star week program. We also got the season two vault pack. So let's go ahead and go take a look at that stuff as well. All-star program should be almost done. If not done, 72 out of 75 we need. Let's see. We need what? Four more, three more stars. So one more mission and we'll be done. So we'll finish that uh, some other time, but we're close enough on that anyways. But we got 15 packs, four balling packs, three millionaire packs, a season two vault pack. And of course, we got some draft packs from the program as well. So let's just go through these as we're getting through these. If you guys did enjoy this video, if you guys did enjoy and it helped you all these complete this conquest map, be sure to like and leave a comment down below and subscribe if you are new to the channel for more stuff like this. Or if you guys need any other help, let me know in the comments down below what you guys need help with. And if I can make a video about it, I'll definitely make a video about it in a future video. Let's go ahead and just open up these packs and see if we get any diamonds. And just when I say that, not only do we get Forbes filled, we get a diamond. It is a purple, but that's okay. We'll take any diamond, free diamond, 88 overall, not an 85. We'll take that and we'll definitely sell Forbes filled uh, some other time as well. A second diamond and a ball in his habit back. We love to see it. It's blue. Uh, show me. Come on. Come on. Ah, Tim Reigns. That sucks. That's a tough one. That is a tough one, but we'll take it. 7,700. You see blue and then you see Tim Reigns and you're just sad again. Millionaire pack. Nope. Nothing there. All right. Next millionaire pack. Another show pack. And final millionaire pack. We get 2,000 stubs. I've been stacking those up. We get two MLB draft packs. We have all these cards. So it does not matter uh, which one that we're going to select because we have all of them. So we'll select that one. We'll select that one. We'll select that one. So now you guys don't have to do the conquest map four times. The last conquest map. You don't have to do it four times. Yeah, because if you do the all-star program, you get these cards. But if you did do it four times, you could quick sell the cards and get some stubs out of it. They're not sellable, but you can definitely quick sell them. So that's probably what I'm going to do. Is I'm just going to quick sell these cards in my binder. Oops. And then that way we'll get a little bit of stubs for them. I mean, they're all 95s. So all quick sell for the same price. And we got one vault pack. What will we get? 87, 85, 89. I guess we'll take the 89. 88k 9k 11 whoa 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 we won't take that one. we'll take this one and then we'll take this one so that one goes for 8900 8900 and then when this one we i said what it was 11,000 we'll, we'll take 11,000 out of that one and that's going to be the end of the video like i said give it a thumbs up if it helped you out i'll see you guys in the next video thank you guys for watching